Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this demo, we are going to develop a web API action that downloads file from Azure storage account. Before we start, please subscribe to AzureTeach.net channel for more videos on Azure and .NET. Here, I have created a new .NET 6 web API application, but the code that we are going to write would work with any .NET framework. First, we have to install a NuGet package. So I'm going to manage NuGet packages. And after that here, I'm searching for blob. And we have to install azure.storage.blob. I want to go with the stable version, clicking on install. I accept. The package have been installed. Now, I'm going to controllers folder, right click, add controller. And here I want to choose API, API controller empty, clicking on add. And here I'm giving the name as file processing controller. We can access the files from Azure storage account in multiple ways. Here in this demo, we are going to use connection string. So here I'm declaring a variable private constant string underscore connection string is equal to now I'm going to the portal.azure.com storage accounts and here I want to use this storage account and here I'm going to access keys and here I'm clicking on show keys. Here we have two connection strings. I'm copying the first one and pasting it over here. Now I'm going to containers and here we have demo container. And in this, we have this file and we are going to download this through the Web API controller. So I'm going to Visual Studio over here. And here I'm writing public async task of I action result. I want to name my action as download file. And after that, here I want to decorate this with HTTP get and i want to go with the action name itself so here i'm writing action after that here we have to create few objects so here i'm writing blob client press control dot over here we have to use this namespace and here blob client is equal to new blob client and here we have multiple overloads so if you have a blob uri which we can get from here click on this file and here you can copy this and use this url to download this file through web api but in this demo we are going to use a different approach we are going to use an overload which accepts connection string container name and blob name so here i am writing connection string and after that here if you go we have the container name as demo container so I am writing demo container over here and here we have to enter the blob name that is Azure Teach Demo dot DOCX. So here I am writing Azure Teach Demo dot DOCX and after that here we have to create a memory stream object. So here I am writing using where stream is equal to new memory stream and after that here I'm writing await blob client dot download to async and here I'm passing the stream object and after that here we have to set the position of stream to zero so that when we are downloading the file the stream will be returned from the starting position here we are sure that we are going to download the DOCX which is a word document file but in your applications you might be downloading different types of content so we can get the content type of the application from the blob client get properties method so here I am writing where content type is equal to await blob client dot get properties async and after that value dot content type after that here i am writing return file and here stream dot to array 
and here we can pass the content type and after that here we can pass the blob name so here i am writing blob client dot name that's it that is what we have to do i am running the application now it opened the swagger ui i'm clicking over here clicking on try it out clicking on execute so here if you see we got the download file link i'm clicking on this so here it downloaded the file so if i open this file so here we have this content that is all in this demo if this video is helpful to you please like this video share it with your friends and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you